This video will show how to configure content filtering policy in Trend Micro email security. Content filtering in Trend Micro email security allows you to create rules that will filter messages based on several criteria. These include keyword matches in the message header, subject, body, and attachments, message size limit, number of recipients, and attachment properties such as the attachment name or extension, file type and mime type, size, number, and if the attachment is password protected. There are separate content filtering policies for inbound protection and outbound protection that can be managed independently. To create content filtering policy rules for inbound emails, go to inbound protection, then content filtering. Then, on the content filtering policy page, click on the add button. In the basic information setting, you can type a name for the rule, modify the rules notes, or disable the rule. In the recipients and senders setting, you can type, select, edit the email addresses, full domains using wildcards, or groups in recipients and sender sections to which the rule will apply to. Additionally, you can add sender to recipient exceptions to exclude them from this rule. In the scanning criteria setting, selecting no criteria will mean that this rule will always be triggered by emails that match the senders and recipients specified in the recipients and sender setting. Select Advance to configure your desired content filtering criteria. Then from the condition drop-down list, select All Match to trigger the rule only when all selected advanced criteria are matched. Select any match to trigger the rule when any of the selected advanced criteria is matched. Then select and configure the filtering criteria based on your security requirements. On the action setting, select the actions that Trend Micro email security will take on messages found to contain or match your filtering criteria. Here, you can select one intercept message and include one or more modify and monitor actions as you see fit. Click on Submit to save the rule.